So welcome back to my channel. I am doing a favorite things video today. I cannot tell you the last time I did this, probably during Vlogmas. I think I did a 2022 favorite things for Vlogmas. If I did that, I will leave that in a card above. So normally I was doing these every single month and I just kind of got lost track of time. Kind of like I've said, I haven't filmed a lot of videos this year. So the way that I do this is I walk through my house and I share the six favorite things for that month. So I narrow my list down to six. Anything goes, it could be beauty items, it could be food, it could be planner things, organization, anything that I've used and really liked is game for one of these videos. So I'm not gonna ramble anymore. We're gonna get to my six favorites for this summer. We're gonna start right here. And I know this looks like a mess, y'all. We're in the process of moving stuff around in this office. If you've not watched my social media, I am moving Derek's bed. Derek got a new bed. We're waiting for his mattress. His bed is actually sitting right there. And his bed's getting moved in here. So my office is a wreck right now until we get all of that done. So bear with me, might not be perfect, but you guys, life is not perfect and neither is my house. So I've had so many questions about these bins and they are definitely one of my favorite things and I wanted to share them with you. So these are holding advent calendar days right now. So as you see, it says like what the day is. So that says like day seven, day 10. So each one of these is gonna hold, one is holding, two boxes are holding one. And then over here, I have more of them. I got, they came in a set of eight. So I got 16 of them. I got two sets. And I think they were 50 something dollars on, I ordered one set from Walmart and one set from Amazon. Whichever ones are available, I will link them. But they are the Sterilite brand, Sterilite storage tubs. Very well made. Same ones you can get from Target and like if you go to Walmart. But you just get this as a set of eight. And if you don't want to buy them individually. So I've had so many questions. I wanted to share them. And I'm really liking them. I love that they match my brand. I want to say there's other colors available too. But y'all know I had to go with the pink. So that is my first favorite thing. The Sterilite tubs and i think they're like 13 not are they 13 or 8 i can't remember gallon tubs so i definitely wanted to mention that as one of my favorites for this summer for my second favorite thing we're going into my pantry and you guys i am pretty proud of my pantry if you did not watch this on and this isn't my favorite thing i just want to talk about it um if you did not watch on instagram or tiktok kate and i got in here and completely cleaned this pantry out I think we had like three bags of trash. Like we filled up both donation boxes outside. We donated, I mean, recycling. We filled up both recycling bins and donated a ton of stuff. And why is that light flickering? Lord, I hope it's not going out. So I just wanted to mention how it's actually looking presentable right now. It's not ever going to be perfect, but it looks really good. And there's so much room right now. We were even able to move some appliances in here. Okay. So what I wanted to talk about is over here in these two tubs. So y'all know that for the last, probably since I've been doing my YouTube videos, I have talked about these. The Kind Breakfast Bars and the Peanut Butter. Well, guess what? I've not been eating these. I'm trying to get more protein in my diet. And y'all, really, I'm really trying to take advantage of good health, okay? So now I've moved to these, the Fit Crunch Bars. They are so good. There's only one of them I don't like and I'll share that in a minute. You can get these at Walmart, you can get these on Amazon. The best price is Sam's Club. So I'm gonna link the Sam's Club ones below. Um, now the Sam's Club ones, they come in a variety pack. I think you, for 20, around $22. I want to say you get eight of two different kinds. So one of them has this one, which is the chocolate chip cookie dough, which I really like. And how oh, did we eat all of those? Until they're our favorite. It tastes like the other one tastes like um, thin mints from Girl Scouts, and it's not in here. But it's like a peppermint, chocolatey peppermint one. Those come together if you get them from Sam's. And then in the other one, you get this one, which I do not like. I keep this in here in hopes of somebody eating it. And I actually did eat them last time. But this is something about the jelly I don't like. 
but it comes with this one, which is my absolute favorite. The chocolate peanut butter, very, very good. So these have 16 grams of protein in them. This one has 16. Yeah, 16, 190 calories. Now some of them, this one has 210 calories. Compared to these that I was eating, it only has, the protein is five. So this had five grams of protein versus 16. So this summer I have moved to eating these for, I'm not even, not even gonna say breakfast because I've been fasting in the mornings. If I need something between breakfast and lunch, I will eat this. If not, I will eat one at lunch. So I wanted to mention these. These are the Robert Irvin's Fit Crunch Bars. I really like them. So I wanted to mention that. So I definitely wanted to mention those. Those are my second favorite things for this summer. My third favorite thing, I'm actually going to share another food item. As you know, I have I have to eat gluten-free. I've been gluten-free since um, 2015. Around this time in 2015, I've shared videos over it. If you haven't seen them, I will link that in the card above. I'm going to talk about these because they have... Last night, you guys, I wanted a bagel... And I went to Walmart just to get bagels. So, I really like these. They are the Canyon Bakehouse. And these came from Walmart. Gluten-free bagels. Really, really, really like them. Now, anything gluten-free is expensive. So, these, I don't really like $6.50 for four. But, you guys, everything that I get is expensive. So, I just, I'm kind of used to it by now. I hate it, but I'm used to it. But, these are amazing. Now, let me mention this. Now, these are not open. This comes in, if you notice, there is a second package in here. So, I have one of these in the fridge. So, what is important about bread that's gluten-free? Once it opens, it's going to go stale super fast. So, once you open it, it's important that you put it in the fridge or the freezer. Moving right along to my bedroom. And as you see, my bedroom still looks pretty nice right now. So, as I said in that Clean With Me video a week or two ago, this bed is going. I'm not talking, I just wanted to share this as I'm walking in here. So, this bed is going to my mom's and um, Nathan and I are getting a new bed. But, what I wanted to talk about is over here and don't mind all of my stuff. Y'all, I keep waters and stuff and that's where all my barrettes went. I need to put those back in the bathroom. So, what I'm talking about is this right here. So, my husband still has to get up early in the summers because he's on an admin contract. Since he's the head football coach where we work, they put him on an admin contract. So, he doesn't stay up late during the weeks. And a lot of times, I want to read. So, I purchased this neck light from Amazon. It comes in many different colors. It is, what brand is it? There we go. You can kind of see it. So, I will put this around my neck and it allows me to read at nighttime without affecting him. And there's three different levels. See, there's a lot. There's a switch on the back and then also on the sides. So, you can adjust each one, the side. So, if I want to have one side brighter than the other, I can do that. It has three levels of brightness and I really liked it. I got this in June and have used it several times a week. So this is the book I'm currently reading right now, One True Loves. I've got like a hundred pages left in you guys and I'm really nervous about how this is going to end. I have a feeling I'm going to get emotional. So I want to talk about that. That is my fourth favorite thing. For my fifth favorite thing, we are coming in the bathroom and I'm actually going to get the new one out. Yes. Okay. So Y'all know I've struggled and don't mind my bathroom. Y'all, this bathroom is needs to be cleaned. So, I cleaned my bedroom last week with you guys, but I didn't clean the bathroom. So, I need to clean the bathroom, like, really good. And we need new faucets. It keeps dripping. Okay, we're going to hope it stops. Okay, so this is what I've been using as face soap. Thanks to TikTok. Okay, so this is the Dial Complete Antibacterial Liquid Hand Soap. TikTok says this is like the best thing to use. So I started using it. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to give it a shot. This is only like $2. And don't come after me telling me how bad it is for my skin. Because I've heard for years that the gold of Dial is like some of the best soap for you to use on your body. So I've been using it probably since like April, May. And I really like it. I like that it's not expensive. 
So it works really well. And I don't use a rag when I clean my face in the tub. I just use my hands. I've done that for years. And then I will come and use astringent and all of that afterwards. So not only does it take my makeup off, it does a good job at taking my eye makeup off as well, which some soaps that I've used on my face, oh, they are awful when it comes to getting your eye makeup off. And I don't even use waterproof mascara either. And some of them are just really bad at taking that off. So that is my fifth favorite thing, the Dial Gold. Now there's many different ones, but they say the gold is the one that you need. So the Gold Dial Hand Soap as my face soap. Sharing a little bit of real life here. So this is what we're in the process of doing. Um, laundry and everything. Look at Izzy laying over there. She's like, Mom, what are you doing? So we keep these blankets on the couch. I'm not talking about the couch or anything. I just wanted to kind of mention it because you know it makes you feel better if you know that people live real life and it's not perfect all the time. So we keep blankets on this couch, not because it looks good, because it looks awful. But Bella was peeing on furniture. And to make it to where she's not going to get on there and pee, like she would pee on our other couch, we put blankets on there. So far, it's been working, fingers crossed. And then if we go anywhere for an extended amount of time, we'll put tarps over the couch. Yes, um, it's, it's embarrassing, but so far this has worked. Fingers crossed. What I'm going to talk about is over here. And let me move this real fast. This is going to my sister-in-law. She is visiting us right now. And that was over here. And if you watched my TikTok or Instagram, I did mention this. This is not what I, this is not my favorite thing either, but I just wanted to, well, it probably will end up being a favorite thing, but it's not what I'm sharing today. So that was over there. And then this went on sale. This is the Carson bookcase from Target. So that's the narrow one. And then that one is the um, regular size. So we got this. And we would get one that was the same size on both, but our door, and look, there's our exercise bike, our door swings and there's not room there. So we have to do the small one. So what I am gonna talk about is over here, and I'm gonna lump all of this into one category, and that is the Colleen Hoover books. So I will tell you, I started with Verity. I would not recommend it. <laughs> My daughter has read a lot of these books. Where is the Verity? It should be down here with the black ones. Oh, there it is. It's gold. Okay. I started the Colleen Hoover books with Verity. Do not do that. Do not. Because I still to this day do not know my feeling on this book that I've read of hers. And it's unlike every other book I've read of hers. It's very raunchy and... um. Like I had to, I got embarrassed reading the book. <laughs> I had to like look around and make sure that like nobody was watching me read it because, oh, it, it's really graphic, really graphic. I would not start with that, but I love her books. So this was a good book. It was just really graphic. And once you read it, you're going to understand why it's that graphic. So I've read Verity. I have read, let's just start from the top. I have a lot more of her books in here that um, I'm going to read, but I've read Verity. I've read Gretting, Regretting You. Loved this. Y'all, I've loved almost, I've loved every book that I've read of hers. There's only one that wasn't my favorite of all, and I'll share that. So I've read Regretting You. Reminders of Him is so good too. Read that one. Ugly Love is so good. So I keep reading her books because they're all so good. All of them. My hands down favorites. It starts with us and then it ends with us. So you want to start with it ends with us. I know it sounds backwards, but once you read it, it makes sense. It ends with us and it starts with us. Two of my favorite all-time books. Make sure you read it ends with us first and then it starts with us because this one goes along with the other one. November 9th is also one of my all-time favorite books. Y'all, I just, I don't know. I just really felt this book. I mean, I zipped through it as well. Oh, Confess. This one is one I liked it, but it wasn't my favorite of all of them. So, Confess. I've read Confess. I have read Verity. It ends with us. I'm trying to make sure I don't forget one. 
Um, it starts with us, Ugly Love, Reminders of Him, November 9th, Regretting You. And then the ones I have, I've got three right now of hers that I want to read. So usually what I do is I'll read um, another author, then one of hers. Another author, then one of hers. So I kind of like break it up because I'm going to tell you, she has got a way of bringing you in from page one. I don't know how she does it, but her writing style from page one grabs me every single time. So I have never, never, I got this yesterday at Sam's Club. I walked by and I'm like, okay, I'm going to get it. I don't know if the reviews are that great for this one, but that's what I'm, I'm going to read. Heart Bones. This is probably what I'm going to read next. And then, um, Without Merit. So those are the three books of hers that I'm going to read next. So I just had to mention that because, y'all, I just started getting back into reading. And I have really enjoyed her books. Really enjoyed them. And the stories, I mean, every story that she has is just so unique. And it just grabs my attention, every single one of them. So I would love to know if you like the Colleen Hoover books. That's going to be the common question. What is your favorite book of hers? Mine, I, I've got to do three. It ends with us, and this is the collector's cover. It starts with us, so I'm considering that one, and then November 9th. So right now, those are my favorites of hers. So that's my sixth and favorite thing for this summer, the Colleen Hoover books. So that is all for my summer favorite things. Remember, anything that is available, I will link that in the description below. And I want to say Colleen Hoover has a website of her own. She's fixing to come out with a merchandise line. Cannot wait. So I will link her website in the description. And don't forget in the comments to share with me what is your favorite book of hers. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you give it a big thumbs up. By giving my videos a thumbs up, it shows YouTube you're engaged and you like my content, which means they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to more people, which means our community will grow and will continue to spread positivity. Also, I hope you hit that red subscribe button to become a part of our community and our mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and until next time, bye you guys.